Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. The video I did, or you're about to watch, I did not do an intro for, or I lost it. I just, I don't know what happened. Anyway, so, um, this is the intro. <laughs> this is the intro. Uh, I did voiceover for the majority of it, because I didn't want to have to play music and do all that mess, so I'm going to do the voiceover, and then, um, at the end, I will be talking to you because I'll be showing you the results of all the stuff in between. So I hope you enjoy the video and that you're able to stay for the whole thing. That would be great. I appreciate it. So I will see you guys at the end. Okay, so I'm showing you the basket that I store my glue gun in. There's not a lot of stuff in there, but I can't find things, so I have to label everything. These are lids. And then I'm going to hot glue them onto an Amazon box that gave its life for the cause. Um, and I found out after I stacked them all in there, I had an odd number. So I made three different stamps. And I based it on an 8x10 jelly plate. I have five or six sizes, but... The 8x10 is one of my most favorite ones to use because, you know, if you're using an 85 by 11 sheet of paper, the 8x10 works fine. So I got them all glued down and had tested, of course. And there they are. This is the medium sized one that I'm stamping right now, which I think has two, four, six of the lids glued together on there. And I think I used one of the others to stamp, too. I didn't want to show you the reason I fast forward, because I don't want you guys to get a good look at the deli prints, because at the end, I show you how they turned out. Man, I never move that fast. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh. All right, there's the large one, and there's the medium, and then I think I have a smaller one that just has the four. And I had one lid left over, which went into the garbage. Now I'm going to show you how to clean them up. I, I don't usually clean up my stamps, and I don't usually clean off my jelly plate. I like all those crusty bits. But this is just a uh, package of baby wipes that I got from Dollar Tree, the dollar store. And that paint had dried on there while I was stamping the smaller stamp. So I'm showing you the dried version of paint getting off of there. And then I'll show you the one where the paint's not really dried on there which is the medium size stamp. I did build up some cardboard on the back of it and then take one piece and folded it in half and glued it onto the back side so that I could use it as a grip for my fingers so I didn't have to dig my fingers into the cardboard every time to get it off of the jelly plate. And they actually fit in my Ikea drawer so it's not too tall with the little pinch thing on the back. So see, they come up, they come pretty clean. You cannot put these in water because, like I said, it's an Amazon box who gave its life for the cause. I wonder if Amazon knows how many crafting projects we do with their boxes. Oh, them in the post office. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to dry them off. And there will be a little bit of residue when I show you the paper towel at the end. It has a little bit of residue on it when I flip it over. See, that's what's left over. And then everything else is on my fingers. All right, so when I did this, I cut off excess deli paper. And I decided that I didn't want to waste the deli paper. So I started decorating the deli paper. So this is just me using everything I have but the kitchen sink on these things. These are uh, crayons by, I think they're called, uh, shoot, I can't reach them. Wait, they're here. These are called Water Soluble, Silky Water Soluble Gel Crayons by Creative Expressions. I bought these at a bargain store in Austin, Texas called Dee Dee's, I think. And they were less than $10. So I thought that was a pretty good bark. And I've never used water crowns before other than uh, uh, Dina Wakely scribble sticks. And they're hard. These are not hard. These are very soft. 
and the water moves them very quickly because they're so soft. They move very quickly, very quickly. I love using them, but there is a downside to that is when you use it. Well, I'll explain at the end. So there I am just doing all this, just using up all the scrap jelly paper I had. I really like painting, painting them with the uh, paintbrush. They look so cool at the end. It takes a little time to dry. Morning, everyone. It is 3.50 a.m. And I know the reason I say the time is because I know there's a lot of other people that are up at the same time that I am at this ridiculous hour. Got my first cappuccino of the day. And I wanted to come back since I did the voiceover and the, you know, fast forward through a lot of the video because it was the same stuff over and over. I wanted to show you the results of the jelly prints. I took the I took the deli paper and I trimmed it down. Now this is a purple. I'm looking at my video camera and it looks blue when I first kind of hold it up, but then it looks purple next to the blue. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Film me at three o'clock in the morning. Um, leaves a lot to be desired for actual colors. All right, so here's the milk lid. Um, Stampy Doos. This one did not work very well. It's just, it just turned out to be blue, and you can faintly see some of the milk, the round things. Oh, I can see them. I don't think anybody else would be able to. But here is one of the ones that was after that. With, okay, camera stop. <laughs> I have to try to get the cord out of the way so it wouldn't be in the shot, and it doesn't matter what I do to the doggone thing, it's still in there. Oh, I see where it is. Oh, it's at the bottom. It, okay, let's just move this over here. I took a clip and clipped it together. Now you're going to see the clip. <laughs> All right. So this is a blue and a green. The base was... I think the base was... On this one was green, and then I went over it with a... I mean blue, and then I went over it with the green. There's and they're all circles. There's nothing that's deviated. But this is what you can do with stuff from the house. It didn't cost one penny. It was an Amazon box, which was the cardboard. And I just saved them up. I drink um, lactate milk. And they only come in the half-gallon paper container. So every time I would finish a carton, I would... Oh, excuse me. I would take the lid, and I have a jar, and I would put it in the jar, and then... One day I decided, well, I think the jar is pretty full and I don't want it to smell like soured milk. It did not, um, which really surprised me. But uh, then I decided the other day I'll just glue them all together and see what happens. And I really like the circles. Now, I did discover that the um, Lactaid brand milk lid is different than the generic Lactaid milk that I buy from the local grocery store or from Walmart when I run out of the other stuff. But, it, so that's why I was picking and choosing stuff. Because the lids did, the height of the lids weren't exactly the same. There's a blue, green, and purple one. And see, it's hard to see the lids unless you do a, a one where you do it with white. How cool is this? I just, I just, I don't know what made me decide to do this. This is kind of crazy. All of them look alike. The different colors and and this one was another one like um, this one at the bottom here I uh, just you know you can't see the lids the lid the roundness of the lids very well I can barely even tell I stamp this with it I can see one or two lines here there and yonder but not okay so these were in 12 by 12 sheets and I did it on a 8 by 10 um, jelly plate so after that, I, I saw the big white strips, you know, on the side here and the bottom and a thin one around the side and up on the top. I was like, oh, God, I hate to waste all that deli paper. <sighs> so what I did was I trimmed all the paper off and divided them into sizes. So this was, you know, all the leftovers. You can see the paint on them still. And then I trimmed the little ones. So I took the big ones. And after taking the five-day accordion challenge, I discovered that color is just so cool. I 
please do not ask me why. I don't know. I'm a black and white girl. And all of a sudden, I've gone just absolutely wackadoodle. And I really like it. I really like it. It finally sunk into me to just use colors that I like, not what everybody else thinks I should use, but things that I like. So I used um, wet crayons, uh, crayons, crayons. I used these, the Silky Water Soluble Gel Crayons by Creative Innovations. They really are very creamy. Um, but there is one little problem with them. It's not the fact that, you know, I put water on them with a, a paintbrush later after I did the circles. What's the problem is, is they're waxy. And then when you go to use a pen to circle it, like, um, let's see, I tried a jelly pen. I tried the um, Uniball Air. And there was one other try pen I tried. Oh, this R2 um, Rollerball from Dollar Tree, which is a very black pen, but... It does smear with water. The Air Uniball does not. But anyway, nevertheless, I tried. No, they don't work so well. And what worked on here was a jelly pen, but I had to keep wiping it off because when you drag it through the the color, it it basically scrapes the surface of the excuse me of the the print, and it, so the wax builds up on the tip of the pen. So you have to take a napkin. Is this the one I used? Yeah, this is the one I used. You have to keep wiping it off so that you get the wax off of it. And eventually it'll keep going. And after you do this enough times in the kind of in the same spot where you've done the wax and wiped it off and done the wax and wiped it off, then the next time you do it, you don't have to wipe it off so much because you've already dug off a lot of it. But it was so much fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So I did that. And this is where I was experimenting with different black pens and black. And this was Posca Do Not Like This. It's too thick, so I need to get the thin line pasta or one of those. Um, uh, did I say I had a lot of pens? <laughs> you should use one of one of the these really like thin sharpies. That would be better, I think, than using um, than using the Posca. And it was one of the smaller tip Poscas like this. You know, it has a smaller tip on it. This one's new, but um, it's one of the smaller ones. And then I went with, uh, I think I tried a, uh, but, 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 but what is this called? This is a Creative Mark Super Black Fine Line. I used this and did it, and it worked much better. Um, and this is still the, I think this is, is this watercolor? No, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a frog. Um, I think I did use the waxy stuff on this, but I watered it down enough with water that when it dried, and I dried it with the uh, heat gun, it did much better. This is Posca with just the white uniball on the arrows. I just like the way it sounds too. Okay. And then this one was kind of a failure. But, you know, I am going to use it. This was testing all the different kind of ink pens that I had. And there's no, um, is there? Oh, shoot. I can't remember what I used to do the original painting with. Maybe I used the uh, crayons. I can't remember. It was kind of a funky lime green color and a pinkish color. And then I went back with all the pens that I could get to write on here, like my jellies. Some of them are dried up because, you know, you have too many pens and you don't use them. They die. Um, but I will use this, even though I think it's not as good as some of the others. So those are the large, you know, the strips that went like this on the side of the um, 12 by 12 paper, deli paper. So I'm going through these and I'll make them look like these, and then I will set these aside for um, background papers. Then there was the thin strips. This is what I did first. I started with this first. This was the first one I did. I did the black with the white jelly roll. This is a black Posca with the jelly roll. And I like the way it looks. I thought, oh, well, I should try some more. <laughs> and then down the rabbit hole I go. So <laughs> this is, uh, what are these? These are some kind of a pencil. Or, I don't know. I, you know what? I did this a couple days ago, and I did so many and tried so many different um, 
pens and markers that I have that I can't remember what was what. Uh, I, I just don't remember. I think it was a lot of this kind of stuff. These um, crayons, because I really like those. All right, so there's that one. Then this one is with a, a Sharpie or a, a, some kind of a marker. And then I went back with the, the black. Oh, sorry, with the black. This one's too much, too dark. Just a little bit's enough. You don't have to do overkill. And I overkilled once. And when I did it, made it look like this and this one, I was like, uh, nope. And I went back. I mean, I decided not to keep going with it. So I think these, the light touch looks much better. Then I have this one, which is those crayons. And Oh, no, this is Sharpies. This is Sharpies with very light touch. Uh, so I think it's a 0.03 micron where I did the little black circles around. Light touch is better. This one is, I think this one again is a Sharpie with the white uniball. Had so much fun. I, I swear, I, I killed the whole day just making circles. This is... What did I use with this? I had gray something. This is Sharpie also. I really like this one. It's very dark, but I kind of like it. I was listening to a, a podcast while I did these. This is Posca with the white Posca on top of it. And these are very small strips, a uh, maximum probably two inches wide. Most of them are about an inch to an inch and a half. This is done with um, watercolor or some kind of a water-soluble pen or pencil. So I did this one in green. And the dark outline is, you know, not as, not as visible as some of the others. And then I did this one. And this one is also a Sharpie. And then just went back with a really fine pen and just kind of scribbled around all the circles. So this is what I got out of 12 by 12 sheets of um, paper. So now, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie. You know what's going to happen to this? I'm going to shove it in a drawer and forget it's there. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> Until somebody has a class and goes, look how I use my extras. I'll be like, oh my God, I have so many of those. <laughs> okay, so I think that does it. I'm not going to take this stuff off my desk. <laughs> well, I need to finish these. I don't want to leave any white ones. I want to keep going. So I have a couple hours of entertainment for myself for today. I mean, I got five left, and then I will do something on these. Something a more intricate pattern, I think, than just circles. I need to get over the circle thing and try another shape. I did. I did stick my finger into triangles. And I really like it. So next thing you might see me on this bend bend where I do everything in triangles. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, beware of triangles. Bye.